talking about don't do no bullshit. You want some bullshit already, dog. I wish I could jump through this screen and just smack the fuck out this nigga. Wait finna catch his first body at five, boy. What's good with YouTube? It's your boy DC and I'm back with another reaction video. You feel me? And today we reacting to that trap to rich. <laughs> trap to trap to real little boy track you feel me nah i got a special request in a dm you feel me he even pulled up on me in the live chat and check me about it <laughs> man i'm like bro let me get this video done let me react to this bro you already know i love the stories man what was i waiting on bro I love watching the stories and see how the stories go, bro. And it's the full story right here. So I ain't gonna talk y'all ears off. Without further ado, let's get straight into the video. Hold on, hold on. Is it gonna keep me in my seat? Or keep me in my seat? See, bro, and this is really a lot of kids' story, literally, like, this is a lot of kids' story, you feel me? So it's like, if you got a mama that ain't on drugs and you growing up and all that shit, bro, really be grateful, bro. Really be grateful, but really be grateful and appreciative of it because... This is a lot of kids' story, y'all. Sitting in the floor playing with his trucks, making noises that can like he don't notice her. What he do in the inside, it really fuck him up. Smart kid, he already know what's wrong with her. He just trying to wait her out, wait for her to pass out so he can grab a blanket just to cover her. And he do it every time. He just want his mama to wake up and be fine, cause he was acting up when it's the last time. And that's what's crazy, bro. And that's why it's like it's a lot of traumatized kids out here or a lot of kids going crazy out here because you feel me why is that baby taking care of you he taking care of her right now he the five-year-old bro he the kid <sighs> Woke up, she was crying, screaming out that she was dying, acting like she lost her mind. He got a plan this time, made from innocent ways. If you remember clear, last time she never ate. So he gonna make what they eat for breakfast every day. Grab a pack of Raymond noodles and put it in the microwave and hit six minutes. They finally finished. He a, he a minute off. It's really seven for real, just to get him like well done. But uh, you feel me? Six minutes. He know what he talking about, bro. If y'all talking anything under that, y'all cook. No, I ain't, ain't even arguing with you. <laughs> he heard her moving, so he trying to get it. She woke on up, he was there to present it. He smiling hard because he feel like he killed it. She sat straight up, man, it seems like she with it. She smiling at him, he liking this feeling. She turned into villain like moving, little nigga. I don't want this bullshit. Get the fuck out my face. I thought I told you to go play. You wanted to. Then, then you got the nerve to be ungrateful. Eat, man. See, bro. That's that shit I'm talking about. Look at him. He looking sad as hell. She's just yapping her motherfucking lips. Mad. She probably just woke up withdrawing. She ain't hot no more. That's probably what it is. But that's just crazy, bro. Like, you being ungrateful, bro. And he trying to make sure you straight, bro. Like, and at the end of the day, he's still going to love her because that's his mama. You feel me? Way. You live here, but this not your place. Mm. But you about to learn that today. I got men on the way. Mm. And you trying to fix me something to eat. When you see him here on the couch trying to sleep. Little dumbass nigga, who you trying to be? You should have ate it, because for that today, you can't eat. Damn. 
Look in his eyes. She mean? talking to him like he ain't just fine. He walked in his room, sat down just to cry. He got snacks in his room, so today he'll survive. Five years old, but he feel 25. He hear his mama out there with some guys. He know what they doing, so he visualizing and hearing that shit. Put a monster inside me, little boy Trey. Dang, bro. Part two. She done went crazy on bro and some more So that's what we summing up for the part one, bro. You feel me? His mama on drugs. She, he ain't going to school, none of that. He basically there trying to take care of her. And she ain't doing shit but being the asshole. Getting hot and letting niggas do what they want to do to her all day. First little part of a little bro. He only five, bro. Right. Little boy Trey, he in his room. He hear his mom, he'll be over soon. He really feel like there's nothing to lose. Wait, the noise stopped. He don't hear no dudes, so he walked out. His mama laying on the couch now. She high again, so she passed out. I mean, blacked I out. And on the table is some cash now. So he knows she got smashed out. Then he heard. Shit. It's a knock at the door. Should he go answer or should he ignore? Cause no one can see his mom like a whore. But what if his cops, they gon' kick down the door? And then it's a chance she not mom anymore. He didn't want to answer, but they not some more. So he walked to it slowly, then he cracked the door. Then he say, who are you? It was some man. The man looked at him like, my name is Stan. Held his hand out, then he shook with Trey hand. I need your mother, she home by chance. Trey shook his head and he dropped the man hand. He know that Trey lying, he shaking, he scared. So he looked in Trey eyes and said, walk with me, kid. So fucking Trey just did it. See? No, bro. <laughs> No, bro. You see, she ain't even teaching this nigga no motherfucking home training, bro. You don't walk off with no stranger, bro. He a kid, dog. And she's just in there high. Don't know, no, don't know who coming to her, though, and none of that. No matter how much harm she can put her kid, man. This is crazy, bro. Cause he don't want problems As far as he concerned This man was gonna kill his mama Tied body up and throw her Where they can't find her They went to the house Down the street from his mama Two minutes away He kept up with the time And he said take a seat Then he said That's the tray Put the strap on the table Like we got something coming I went through that bullshit My mom was the same way That's how I got all this today You wanna go play But care of her You gotta take You young but you feel It's your place And with men on the way She tell Bro he about to bro he about to put that little nigga in the game or something. I'm already knowing, bro. I can feel it. He handling with the story, exactly what's going on with him. You to go play sleep. She could at least start making up you something to eat. You hear niggas running through, but in your mind you see. So I understand the reason that you lied to me. Damn. Look in his eyes, Trey really feeling like they just switched lives. He wanna be tough, but he wanna start crying. But the shit he just heard got him woozy inside. Stan say, look, man, I know you deprived. That feeling you got is potential inside. These some cold streets, so you gon' stick by me, and I'll teach you the rope just on how to survive. What I say, bro? What I say, bro? Then it's like, you feel me, y'all be mad at kids and little niggas that saw her with skis and all that crazy ass shit because, you feel me, y'all can't be mad at them, bro, you feel me, that's what they grew up on, bro, niggas, just how y'all, most of, you feel me, y'all kids grew up to go play basketball and do good, man, that's all them niggas know, that's what they grew up, that's their environment, bro, it's like animals, bro, they they go off their habitat, nigga, they live off their habitat, so it's just like us, bro, we, if we live a different way, we grow up a certain way, that's how we gonna act, that's how we gonna, you know what I'm saying? Feel like his friend, cause Trey ain't never 
felt no love from a man. A man ain't never taught Latre anything. His mama had to do, but it wasn't the same. Stan told him that he under his wing, so he feel it's cool to learn about the cocaine. Shit, well. While Trey was practicing, he spied a gun. He got the nervous cause he never seen one. He only knew that you didn't touch him for fun. So Lil Trey asked Stan how come he needed one. Stan told him just in case if they run. He started laughing and told him if you keep on working hard, I said I'll get you one. Trey said working See? hard. What? I don't know what you mean. See? Stan said come here, let me show you. What I just say, bro? What I just say, bro? He a kid, he don't know what he doing. No matter how good he getting at the shit, he don't know what he doing. He don't know the purpose of it, bro. He a kid, bro. It's just, you feel me? And niggas really be sick like that, putting little niggas on because, nigga, that's their life, bro. And that shit gonna go on and go on and go on and go on and go on, bro. It's up to you to, you feel me, drag yourself for your kids out that situation. He didn't sing, showed him a bit of his mom and a fiend. Told him this life if you don't get this dream. Lucky for you though, you ran into me. So you got a job that's gonna help her get clean. So deliver this bag, then you come back to me. And don't do no bullshit. Do as I'm about to say. So See? you can get there. You talking about don't do no bullshit. You want some bullshit already, dog. I wish I could jump through this screen and just smack the fuck out this nigga. <laughs> Don't do no bullshit. You want some bullshit? You saying the fire road on the air, bro? That's crazy. It's, safe. it's no time to play. I told him, man, you on the way. He live next door by where you stay. And when you on the way, make sure you're not walking the streets. On the sidewalk is probably where you need to be. Head up so when you walk, you can make sure you see. Give it to him, come back, and we gonna have something to eat. Damn. Look in Trey eyes. He got this feeling he feeling inside. He said, I'm ready. I feel so alive. Stan said, you smart, so I'm not that surprised. Stan said, look, man, I know you'll survive. I had that same potential inside. I see you and me, so I know that you street. And this your first chance that's going to help change your life. Go be little boy Trey. See? Giving that nigga the confidence. Telling him everything he need to hear. Want to hear. You feel me? Let's see how this go, bro. Let's see how this go, bro. Yeah, little boy, chat. Right. He walking the streets, but he followed the rules. Backpack full of dope, but he playing it cool. But he a little nervous now, cause he made it to do. Now he knocking the shit, bothering and shit. But keeping in mind this for mommy and shit. Trey trying not to be awkward and shit. The door opened wide and there was some guy that said, who are you? Shit. He said, my name is Trey. Stan had told me to bring this today. So here go your bag and I'll be on my way. He looked at Trey and said, why don't you say? I got to check in my bag anyway. Sit on the couch and I'll make sure it's straight. And if shit look okay, you can be on your way. Uh. Shit. Fuck. Trey walked in the house to hurry this up. He sat on the couch, but he nervous as fuck. He asked what's his name. He said, my name is Chuck. Chuck got his bag and he counting his stuff. Chuck flipped his bag and he lifted his head up. He screamed, where's my drugs? Trey said, I don't know. He jumped on the back when he fell. Uh. Give me up my seat. Y'all probably wondering why I got on pajamas and shit, man. Still from Christmas, bro. I ain't doing shit. That's crazy, bro. Ain't no fucking way. I had a feeling something like that was finna happen, too, bro. I ain't gonna lie. And he beating this little nigga ass. He don't care, bro. That nigga don't care. And that bro sent him on a hit like a coward, nigga. He sat on the couch, but he nervous as fuck. He asked what's his name, he said, my name is Chuck. Chuck got his bag and he counting his stuff. Chuck flipped his bag and he lift his head up. He screamed, where's my drugs? Trey said, I don't know. He jumped over the table, he fucked with Trey up. Goddamn, he mm. just a boy. He will Trey ass to kick him out the door. He running the stand, he broke mm. out his course. He don't know if it's for him anymore. He got the stand house and fell on the floor. Fell kind of hard, so he bleeding some more. Stan jumped up, said, what happened to you? He said, it was that dude. He said, his dress was short. Stan said, this bullshit. Get up, now wipe your face. He can't do that. He about to pay. Now they on the way. They made it. Now they at his place. They kicked this door. Look at his 
face. Boy, this not his day. Chuck said you looking for me. Stand shot him in the chest, then again in the knee. Mm. Chuck laying on the ground, trying his best to breathe. Stan gave the gun to Trey and said, finish some G. Damn. Look at Trey eyes. He got Boy finna catch his first body at five, boy. He been catching boy. He about to catch his first body at five. And he making it. At the gun hill like he ain't just five. He can't look at him. He closed his eyes. Trey kind of coming. He got that surprise. Stan said shoot him. Can't let him survive. Chuck looked at Trey and said, I know your kind. Your parents nobody. So you were nobody. Trey opened his eyes and he shot him three times. And said I'm looking Damn. for Trey. Overkill door. So, bro, through all these right now, bro, he done caught a body, bro. He done got whooped on by Doggy Bone on the screen right here, bro. He done learned how to, you feel me, count the years, move the years. Like, at all that five years old, bro. Stand. He kind of nervous because he done killed the man. He's standing there shaking, still got a <laughs> in his hand. But I'm like, a kid gonna be a kid. <laughs> that nigga chewing gum in the middle of a uh, <laughs> he chewing gum in the middle of <laughs> finna catch a body, bro. <laughs> Dog. See, damn, yeah, that's another thing, bro. Little boys without daddies, bro, you feel me? Any kid without a daddy for real gonna feel any type of love a man give them, you feel me? Because they seeking for it, they ain't never getting nothing from a dad, or they see a kid with a dad. Or you know what I'm saying? They seeking any kind of love. So a nigga show them any kind of love, it's gonna be like, okay, you feel me? You like my dad, you feel me? They get easily influenced by you and a whole bunch of mud shit, bro. So he really ain't love dog head. He can really get him to do whatever he want to, bro. He like he feel love from dog. He teaching them all that shit. He showing them all that shit. You feel me? And kids super gullible, so it's way easier because they don't know. So this what we gon' do. We gon' team up like crews and we gon' get this cash. Trey said it's cool with me. It's cool to me. And I ain't never had nobody that was true to me. Do you mind if I want to keep this cool with me? Stay at home. You gon' need it if you move with me. Listen up. This is serious. No foolery. We about to take niggas cash and they jewelry. We gon' run up in cribs. Show them how we live. Then hop in the wheel. Then we gonna dip. That's cool. Trey gave a head nod. Time passed. Trey about to do his first job. Stay at home. Nigga, that's three fucking hits already at five, bro. Three hits he just did. I probably look crazy as hell because it's lightning in here, but bear with me. Bro, three hits, dog. This ain't no bullshit. The guy here not gonna play. So we gotta do this my way. Just hear what I say. It's so much cash. It's like a bank. We'll get it and be on our way. I'll come in on this play. I need you to not. Big hit, dog. I'm feeling like this gonna be some set it off shit. This shit finna get real. Oh, it's finna get real, y'all. the door, I come in through the back and put his ass on the floor. You gonna point the gun at him while I go through the drawers. If we run this play right, it's guaranteed we score. Damn, look in Trey eyes. He got that look like he about to go live. He 
he don't go more, he not nervous inside. He just can't wait till they run up inside. Stay and say, look, man, I know that you fine. Let's do it right to make sure we survive. Let's get this bag and I'll give you some cash with your mom and rehab and you gon' change your life and be little boy. Damn, yeah, that's another thing, bro. He probably still doing all this shit for his mama. At the end of the day, I'm doing this for my mama because that's what he told him at the beginning of the video. We're going to get some paint, you feel me, for your mama and everything else. So, at the end of the day, bro, you manipulating this nigga. And probably ain't even breaking him off for real, bro. But then at the end of the day, he's still doing all this for his mama too, bro. <laughs> Never know what a person been through. Damn, little C, you be killing them. Right. <sighs> little boy Trey, he chilling with Stan. They sitting in the car with Stan, just told him the plan. To keep it real, shit, Trey don't care what he's saying. Trey feeling cocky, still got the gun in his hand. He was rocking this shit, bobbing this shit. Can't wait to go in and be all in this shit. When he get his cut, he'll be balling this shit. Stan told Trey, let's take all of that shit, let's move. So they hopped out the car. Trey to call four bodies, hit an all star. They get closer to the door, and he can feel his heart. Trey was saying, don't do it, don't play the part. They do this shit in broad day, he ain't even dark. Stan gave Trey death to give a little spark. Told Trey that he loved him, man. Made him soft, so he ignored his own feelings. He just shook See what up. I just said, bro. What I just say, bro. That's all he had to say to this nigga, bro. And it's sad, bro. And they say he ignored his own feelings. He shook him off. You feel me? And bro, like it's like, and that happened with a lot of people, bro. You feel me? We put our, we put other people's feelings before ours. You feel me? Or we put other people's happiness before ours, bro. We'll be sad and hurt or worried about them, bro. When you really gotta put your happiness first, bro. A lot of things are in a lot better. It happen a lot better, bro. But this just straight manipulation right here, bro. Fake ass love. Uh... <laughs> Trey did his part and he knocked on the door. No one is coming, so he knocked some more. Then someone had opened, like, what you here for? Trey said, I'm looking for my homie Thor. The guy felt some fishes, so he closed the door. Trey opened it back and got met with a smack. The dude know it's a trap, but then he hit the floor. Oh, it's like, bro. It's like, I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Like, they not play, they blowing this little nigga shit out like he grown, but it's like once you in that shit, you in that shit, bro. It don't, it don't matter at age, nigga. It don't matter at none of that. How tall you is, how short you is, how big you is, you feel me? How small you is. Once you in it, you in it, nigga. It's do or die, no cap. That's why niggas can't even be mad about a lot of shit. Hold up, hit buddy in the head and the shoulders. Told Trey that that's the way that you fold them. Now help me drag them to the middle of the floor, bruh. I'ma keep the shit simple till you hold them. Right now, all you gotta mm -hmm. do is hold them. Till you hold them. I'm pointing at them, I'ma gather everything and we gon' just do what I told you. Now Trey on that cool Bro, you want some, some weed shit, bro? I ain't gonna lie, bro. This little nigga is five, bro. He can flinch up or anything, you feel me? He can flinch up or anything, but they gonna fuck that little nigga up, bro. I mean, he do got a couple of bodies, so I don't know, but you feel me? He's so small, bro. You feel me? You gonna leave him by himself? Why you look for the pay, bro? Why you ain't just blow dog off top? Maybe. Mm. Face standing there robbing the place is going okay, but they don't know that dude is faking. He waiting to stand walk away, then stand walk away. The dude opened one of his eyes, Trey flinched, so the dude kicked him up in the thighs. Mm. Trey dropped the gun, the dude know that he only five. Dude picked the gun up and gave one in the side. He done got pop, bro. He done got pop, bro. I knew some goofy shit was gonna happen, bro. He only five, bro. You feel me? Damn, bro. Side down. Look at Trey I. The bullet's still in him, but he's still alive. Stan came running, he right by Trey's side. The dude the left, so stand angry inside. Stan said, look, Trey, you living life fine. If we go to the doctor, cops go look at mine. They'll ask what happened, you'll tell them what happened. Then I'ma get life, so it's your life or mine. Oh. Sorry, little boy Trey. Nigga, you ain't shit.
You ain't shit. I t see, I sensed that shit. I told y'all it was fake love. Man. Oh my God, bro. Your life or mine, bro. That shit crazy, bro. I can't be super loud right now, you feel me? Because right now, nigga, at Duke's crib till they figure this little shit out with my place, you feel me? So, I'ma still get it right for y'all doing some more shit, man. But, um, yeah, bro. Shout out to bro, bro. He cold with the videos. He cold with the rapping, bro. I'm fucking with it, bro. I'ma check out some more videos from Dog Trap to Real, bro. Shout out to you, bro. If y'all haven't, you feel me, seeing this channel and y'all still having to see his from my man, go give him a check out, bro. Go give him a listen. I'm going to go actually listen to some more videos because this video was deep, you feel me? I'm talking to him like it's real life, you feel me? <laughs> I'm talking to him like it's real life, bro. So, man, make sure y'all tap in with that, bro. Man, leave a like on the channel, subscribe to the channel, share your channel. Share the channel with your mama, your daddy, your sister, your brother, your granny, your auntie, your uncle, everybody in the whole world, man. DC, yo. Yeah. She got me like, oh my God The way she walk, the way she talk She got me like, oh my God The way she dance, the way she moves, she groove